everybody look on the screen here well young man just trying to live his best life and looks like things went awry the youth in america so check this out this will be part a please stick around for part b the commentary check it out well, a driver was seriously injured when thieves tried to steal his car in Queens. The owner was hanging on to the vehicle as the suspects swerved to try to throw him from his mm. own car. The car ended up crashing. It happened in Ozone Park. Two teenagers have now been arrested. There's Iowa News reporter Darla Miles. 28-year-old Torrey Thompson. Tell me what you to me. An up-and-coming R&B singer was doing what many artists do to make ends meet. He was door dashing in his Lexus Monday night when three teens took off in his livelihood, hitting a hydrant and then flipping on its side. Thompson violently thrown from the roof of the car. Once the car hit, the guy flew into our front of our fence and he bounced. He bounced and he slid. It happened near the intersection of Leopards Boulevard and Liberty Avenue in Richmond Hill, Queens, just before 10. The Lexus grate and other debris still on the side of the street Wednesday. When I come out, I see a lot of people. When I look, I see a guy lying down over there. This is surveillance video of Thompson just before the incident. The suspects are seen, too, walking on the sidewalk just before jumping into his Lexus, which was idling. A few minutes later, this is Thompson running to his car and then jumping onto the roof to try to stop them. He saw his car door closing he started running outside i opened the door for him when the lexus first crashed bystanders thought the three teens inside were crash victims so they instinctively went to them to render aid when the guys start running across the street and running in the other direction that's when they knew that something was going on that something serious so everyone started scattering the three teens seen climbing out of the stolen car and taking off but sadly thompson is in critical condition at Jamaica Hospital. A GoFundMe yeah. set up by the family says part of his right skull had to be removed because of swelling yeah. and bleeding on the brain, and he is still in a coma. I'm really sad because I'm hurt for the guy who hit and he fell down, and uh -huh. it's really bad for him. And the other guy just speed away. Thanks for watching part A, people. Let's stick around for part B, the commentary.